I've been looking for a way to install a SE200 hydrofoil without having to drill into my Yamaha 25 and I came across one of these uh, drill free clips but the problem with these drill free clips is that <clears throat> they're really thick really expensive so the drill free clip looks something like this and it lifts the hydrofoil up by about or I reckon 15 to 20 mil so that means you'd have to change your motor height on the transom as well and also there seems to be a lot of um, interference with the flow of water so I decided that I would probably just drill the hydrofoil because I didn't like that mount idea but when I went to drill the hydrofoil <clears throat> with the F25 Yamaha the anode is so big that the position of the holes would have gone basically through the meat of the anode and I didn't really like that idea of drilling through the anode um, so then I started looking at other options I found that this uh, hydrofoil for a much bigger motor was actually a drill free using something called discs and I think it's um, just their naming convention but when I looked into the manual I found this so you can see here that the way this fin mounts is using these disc grips which basically butt up and clamp onto the <coughs> cavitation plate of the motor and being a hydrofoil for a much bigger motor I thought that I could do something similar for my F25. I basically copied the design that they had but just made it slightly simpler using uh, off-the-shelf M8 bolts, washers and nylocks. One of the issues I came across was the M8 uh, largest washer you could get was not really that big in diameter or thickness so what I did was I got a M12 washer and <clears throat> 3D printed the part out or designed the part out to center that washer as you'll see. So after making all the parts I mounted the fin using a clamp just centered it and moved it as far forward as I could as you'll see there um, and making sure that it's very flat I then put some masking tape underneath uh, to mark out the fin where the cavitation plate is because that's where the bolts and the fasteners need to butt up against as such so you can see the 3d printed parts there then I drilled the M8 holes um, as close as I could to the actual cavitation plate I then cut out some rubber washers and glued them to the stainless steel washers similar to the uh, other mount you use double sided tape just to help it even more and then uh, I pushed it on centered this was pretty hard to do without stuffing up and then uh, tighten up the fasteners as you can see there so it worked out pretty well maybe the bolt was a bit long at the front Excitedly, I took the boat out for a spin and with the hydrofoil, um, it handled really, really well. The boat's a bit back heavy because of a bigger motor than what it used to have. And uh, yeah, it seemed to do really well. I lost about two knots of speed though. And the hydrofoil has stayed on ever since, which is great. 